Sunny Jim. It's Forza-thon. Hit the action button to see what you can win this week. Hello all, Jeff here with a new video and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. This week's Forza-thon here is called Exceptional Engineering Extravaganza. First challenge, complete a race in a GMC to win three wheel spins. Second challenge, complete five head-to-head -head races in an Alfa Romeo to win 55,000 credits. Third challenge, perform 10 Ebisu skills in Holden to start to earn 55,000 XP. Fourth challenge, perform 15 J turns in the Nissan to win the Nissan Silvia case. Now, I've been slack with the Horizon 3 Forza Thons, but mainly that's because I've already done the previous week's events due to the glitch that was in the game a month ago. So, first challenge I'll do a race in the GMC, cross city sprint, um, non championship race, I only need to do one race, and I decided to go with the Bandura. Yeah, it's a lot slower than the Cyclone, but I didn't have this car, so I'm like, alright, I'll buy it. And it's very slow. Luckily, it's a race in the bands and utility division, so. And with the whole computer system, it's it almost like makes each car competitive with what you're using so really the only cars I'm competing against here are other Vanduras, the whole Netflix Ute and the Subaru Brat so and they're all very slow in stock trim at least so this is just the start of the race you know this is stock standard AI race I guess but um yeah I'll take you to the end and eventually I ended up winning that one very convincingly. So I thought I was going to get smashed because this is such a slow car. However, happy days. Doesn't matter if you if you win or finish dead last. You're still going to get your three wheel spins. So let's see what I get out of these. I could get a Chevrolet Corvette Z06 here, but do I get it? No, but I'll get the Ford Pursuit Ute. Already got the Horizon Edition, but I didn't have the regular version, so I'm happy with that. Mini Cooper S Horizon Edition, the old one. Do I get it? Nah, not even close. 35,000 credits. And the last wheel spin, I could get a Chevelle out of this. But, I don't get it. But I do get a Datsun 2000. Not sure if I already had that car or not. Anyway, head to head races in an alpha. Just drive behind a driver tar, hit, view, back, select, share, whatever you like to call it on whatever console you're used to. Challenge your driver tar to a race. Now you need to do these you need to do these races five times. And it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it, it's just all about completing the race. Now I do apologise about the sound being out of sync at times. There's an issue there because at the start of the clip it sounds perfect and all of a sudden it cuts out for some reason. If you let me know in the comments how to fix that, that would be great. Because I am recording on USB since the Elgato produces no sound. Anyway, there's 55,000 credits. So just five of those head-to-head -head races, pretty simple. Now to the Ebisu skills in Holden. So I decided to do it around the dunes but hot south of the airport to start off with. However, it was a bit of a bad idea because it's one of those things you have to get the timing right because you need Ebisu's skill is great drift and great air. And the problem is, however, I did get that right that time. There you go, Ebisu skill. Now the thing is, if you overcompensate with the drift, you create a new drift skill and if it's not great, at least, then you're not going to get your Ebisu skill. So, I was struggling here, and I have picked the most powerful hold, perhaps the most powerful holding in the game, stock trim, which is the Tirana Horizon Edition. Anyway, I decided to go to West Point Tower, because there's a little wooden ramp on... The northeast of this area, so I thought I'd give it a shot, see how I go. But as I said, the Toronto Horizon Edition is probably your best bet, or the Commodore V8 Supercar if you've got the Motorsport DLC, which I don't have, so I'm stuck with this. So, great drift, awesome air, 
That should have been an ABC skill, but it wasn't. I'm guessing when you land, you can't drift in order for it to register. ABC skill, there you go. Now, if you don't have the Horizon Edition Tirana, there's a, there was a normal drift, so no good. Um, I'm just going to show you a heap of these in case you're stuck with this as well. There you go, ABC skill. But, um,. Yeah, if you don't have the Tirana Horizon Edition or the Commodore V8 Supercar, just upgrade a regular Tirana or the VL Commodore Group A and you should be alright. Or even the Monaro, one or the other. And again, normal drift, no good. Drift, or that was a normal drift, so no good. You've got to get at least a great drift and at least a great air for this to work. Great drift, awesome air, ABC skill, there you go. So you have to do that 10 times in a Holden. Now I'm not sure if this works in the HDT or, or the HSVs. Let me know in the comments below if it works or it has to be a Holden. But anyway, there you go, 55,000 XP. So... They'll give you either two or three wheel spins. However, I've got four because um, I was trying really hard with those ABC skills. Anyway, 20,000 credits. No Opal for me. Next wheel spin, the Jaguar XJ220. I've already got the Horizon Edition, but nah. I've been given 5,000 credits. What can you do? Audi RS5 this time. Will I get this? Nope, 25,000 credits. What can you do? And the Murcielago SV. Do I get this? Oh, only just no. 2,000 credits, worst wheel spin prize you can get. Now to the J turn skills. Do this in any Nissan. That was a. So basically, that's how you do it. So you just stop, put it in reverse, go as fast as you can, and then, yeah, quickly turn forwards. That's basically how you do a J-turn. However, sometimes it doesn't register and and one thing I discovered was the game doesn't like you trying to do two J-turn skills in a row. I mean, those last two attempts were, you know, pretty bad, but this J-turn, there you go. But for some reason, the game doesn't like registering two J-turn skills in a row. But yeah, just do this 15 times, it's a lot easier than the ever two skills. You can do this in pretty much any Nissan. How isn't really an issue here, however, if you have something front wheel drive, this probably won't work. But there you go, I've won the 94 Sylvia case. So this is the original S14 Sylvia, or 200SX, depending on where you're from. Um, in stock trim, this is low B class, which I'm actually surprised about, but then again, the Horizon class structure is a bit different to the motorsport class structure. For example, the Centenario can be X class in this game, but is bare, maxed out is barely P class in Motorsport 7. But, um, yeah, it's a nice car to drive this in stock trim. I mean, obviously, this is one of those cars you'll want to upgrade and make it a drift monster. But, um, yeah, it's still nice to drive in stock trim. It, it's a bit slow because it's rear wheel drive. That's probably the only other car, only new Japanese cars that are rear wheel drive. Well, something similar to this is, I don't know, Toyota 86, Subaru BRZ, but they're not turbocharged. But, um, no, it's a very nice car to drive. It's nice and fun. It's nice and fun in stock trim. Like, you can slide it around as you can see. It's a very good car, and it's a, there's a reason why it's been so popular for so long, especially those who love the JDM um, background of cars. But anyway, there is Service Paradise in the background, fireworks going, and you'll see on the left, the Sylvia is parked. There it is. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe for more content. And tap the bell so you know when my next videos come. Anyway, this is Jeff here, and happy racing. Cheers.